श्री जीवीएल नरसिम्हा राव प्लीज Uh, I would like to ask the Honorable Minister about the capital of the state of Andhra Pradesh. There is a lot of confusion that was created by the state government when they sought to create three capitals. Then subsequently that uh, uh, legislation was withdrawn. But the central government has sent some communications uh, in uh, addressing to Hyderabad. So these, are, these have all been uh, circulating in, in the media and social media. While we all know Amaravati continues to be the capital, we would like to uh, have the minister to clear this confusion for once and for all as to what is the capital of Andhra Pradesh as of today and who has the authority to decide on the capital issue. Thank, Thank you. you. राजधानी के संबंध में निर्णय लेने का अधिकार राज्य को ही है तेईस चार दो हजार पंद्रह के अनुसार आंध्र सरकार ने अमरावती को अपनी राजधानी घोषित की थी लेकिन जुलाई दो हजार बीस में आंध्र प्रदेश ने एक अधिनियम के द्वारा आंध्र प्रदेश की तीन राजधानियां अधिसूचित की अमरावती विधायी राजधानी विशाखापट्टनम कार्यकारी राजधानी और कुरनुल न्यायिक राजधानी लेकिन उसके बाद सरकार ने इस चीज़ को एक जो समाचार पत्रों के माध्यम से भी हम लोगों को जो जानकारी प्राप्त हुई कि इसको वापस ली है और कही है कि इस समीक्षा के तत्पश्चात हम इसका निर्णय लेंगे इस तीनों राजधानियों के संबंध में या एक राजधानी के संबंध में लेकिन अभी अमरावती ही आंध्र प्रदेश की राजधानी राज्य सरकार ने अधिसूचित की धन्यवाद माननीय वी विजय साई रेड्डी the honorable minister sir the legal division of the assets valued 142601 crore belonging to the institutions listed in schedule 9 and schedule 10 of ap reorganization act of the and and also of the institutions not mentioned in the act also has not happened so far and it is the responsibility of the central government to ensure that act is implemented this has hampered their functioning and has an adverse impact on the andhra pradesh is the ministry taking any steps to expedite the division of such assets and my colleague uh, honorable uh, manya ramesh ji was the author of this uh, ap reorganization act thank you at that point of time thank you thank you mahoday novi anusuchi me ke antargat sansthan hai और इसके निपटारा के लिए एक शिला भिरेक कमेटी भी बनाई गई थी नब्बे संस्थानों के संबंध में शिला शिला भिरेक कमेटी ने अपनी संतुति दी है जो प्राप्त हुआ तेलंगाना ने नब्बे में से अड़सठ संस्थानों की सिफारिशों पर कोई आपत्ति नहीं की लेकिन आंध्र प्रदेश इन अड़सठ में से 33 संस्थानों पर सहमत है आंध्र प्रदेश समग्र हल के पक्ष में है जबकि तेलंगाना केस बाई केस सिफारिश को स्वीकार करने के पक्ष में है यहाँ कुछ विवाद आते हैं नौवीं अनु दसवीं अनुसूची में प्रशिक्षण केंद्र भी हैं तो इसके तहत 112 प्रशिक्षण संस्थान केंद्र वर्णित है धारा पचहत्तर के अनुसार इसके विभाजन का कोई प्रावधान नहीं है और आंध्र प्रदेश इन्हें जनसंख्या के अनुपात में विभाजित करना चाहता है तथा तेलंगाना स्थान के आधार पर अटॉर्नी जनरल के अनुसार विभाजन का कोई प्रावधान नहीं है लेकिन जो भी चाहे दसवीं अनुसूची हो नौवीं अनुसूची हो चाहे इसके अलावे भी जो भी संस्थान या इकाइयाँ हो उसका समाधान के लिए मंत्रालय गृह मंत्रालय बार बार यहाँ से निर्देश देते हैं कि आपसी सहमति बनाई जाए आपसी सहमति के आधार पर भी आधार पर ही इस पर कुछ निर्णय हो सकता है और हम तो सिर्फ समन्वय का काम करते हैं हम कोई आदेश जारी नहीं कर सकते हैं हम कुछ सुझाव आते हैं या कुछ है, दोनों राज्यों की तरफ से कुछ बातें आती है तो उसको गृह मंत्रालय कोऑर्डिनेट करके दोनों स्टेट के सामने रखती है जहाँ तक मैं इसलिए केंद्र सरकार की जो चिंता है पुनर्गठन के बाद आंध्र राज्य को 2014 के उपरांत भारत सरकार द्वारा कुल पैंसठ हजार सात सौ तीस करोड़ की राशि जारी की गई और पुनर्गठन के बाद तेलंगाना राज्य को 
दो हजार तीन सौ पचासी करोड़ की जा राशि जारी की गई जो विभिन्न संस्थाओं और राजधानी शहर की सहायता सिंचाई परियोजनाओं से लेकर कई तरह के राजस्व घाटों के अनुदान के मामलों में भी और जो पिछड़े राज्य हैं उसको, उसको भी प्रत्येक वर्ष हम उसके विकास के लिए देते हैं इस प्रकार से प्रयास होता है लेकिन हम समन्वय का ही काम करते हैं धन्यवाद माननीय श्री सी रमेश जी माननीय श्री सी एम रमेश जी देर आर अदर वेज फॉर दैट प्लीज माननीय सी एम रमेश जी स्टेट हैज बीन बाइवर्केटेड लास्ट एट ईयर्स बैक इट इज देयर इन द एक्ट सो मेनी इश्यूज दिस इश्यूज नाउ तेलंगाना स्टेट और ना आंध्रा सम कॉमन प्रॉपर्टीज पब्लिक सेक्टर ने टेकिंग एंड ऑल एंड सम मनी आल्सो देयर इज इन द डिपॉजिट इन द बैंक्स रिसेंटली वी आर सीन इन द मीडिया both the chief secretaries home minister has called and uh, had discussion uh, home secretary and uh, that also how many issues are there how many issues has been settled i am asking the home minister to take home minister has to take initiative both the chief minister have, have very good relations they were discussing their issues but why telangana issue andhra issues they have to sit and settle and every time they are telling we have very good relations please please, uh, please. Uh, uh, And Russia. now I am asking the Russia. government of India, Please. if he, instead of calling secretaries, both chief minister also has to call and settle this issue. Please put your question. Yes, sir. thank you. Swapati uh, Mahoday Council meeting में माननीय गृह मंत्री जी ने भी दोनों राज्यों से यह आग्रह किया है कि दोनों राज्य जो भी विवाद के मुद्दे हैं उसमें आपसी सहमति बनाकर दोनों इस मामले का निपटारा कर लें। कहे कि कुछ चीज़ों कुछ चीज़ों पर निर्णय हुआ कुछ चीज़ों पर निर्णय नहीं है और निर्णय दोनों राज्य की सहमति से ही होनी है तो इनका अच्छा सुझाव है कि दोनों राज्य बैठकर सहमति बना लें और हम लोग भी यही चाहते हैं और बार बार इसका एम के द्वारा प्रयास भी होता है धन्यवाद क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स ऑनरेबल श्री विनय विश्वम जी माननीय मंत्री टेबल ऑफ द हाउस फर्स्ट सप्लीमेंट्री माननीय विनय विश्वम जी सर I raise a very serious issue, which affects the women of this great country. The sexual violence within marriages. Sir, I am very sure that the minister herself is aware of this fact. In section three of the Domestic Violence Act, it is defined. What is domestic violence? It includes harms or injuries or endangers the health, safety, life, limb or well-being, whether mental or physical, of the aggrieved person or tends to do so, and includes causing physical abuse, sexual abuse, and such abuses. Thank you, sir. The abuses are taking place even inside the marriages. You have to be brief in no, your sir, question, Vinay. No, no, sir. Please. Yeah, Lord, everybody, to take their own time. Please, this is a very serious issue. Please, please, sir. Sir, when we come to section three seven five of the IPC, the strength and the vitality of this definition is eroded. It says that a Mr. man. Mr. Vinay Vishwam, you no, have no, to be no, brief in your question, yes, please. Right. No, in section three seven five of the IPC. When rape is defined, the sexual abuse inside the marriage is accepted. It says that a Thank man, you. a man has Thank a right you. to please be brief. Right, right, right to rape his wife. Please be brief, sir. sir be brief. I, I, I'm very sure, sir. Sir, one thing is sure: intercourse is really available in the in the marriage, but consensus, consent is very important. When a man. Simply because he is a very very senior member, seasoned I'm, member, you know you have to be brief in your question. I am asking Mr. the I, I am asking the minister that whether the government has taken note of the contradiction between the definitions of section three of the Domestic Violence Act and section three seven five of the IPC. Thank you. At the onset, let me say to condemn every marriage in this country. as a violent marriage and to condemn every man in this country as a rapist is not advisable in this august house i am sure that the erudite and senior member knows 
that Rule 47 of the procedures of the Rajya Sabha disallow for an elaboration on a subject which is currently sub -judice. But let me say here reiterate the government's endeavor to protect women in this country in collaboration with state governments. Currently, over 30 helplines are functional in our country, which have assisted over 66 lakh women. Currently, there are 703 one-stop centers which are functional in this country, which have assisted over 5 lakh women. I speak, sir, not only as a member of this parliament, but also as somebody who has converged efforts with state governments, that protection of women and children in our country are a priority for all. But yet again, let me reiterate, to condemn every marriage in this country as violent is not advisable. Second supplementary. Thank you. Sir, I am very sorry to hear to the minister. Please, space. please. No, no. no Put sir. your second supplementary. No, no, sir. I never meant that all the men are rapists. I never meant it. A woman, a minister, doing this is an insult on the man here. I am a man which never accept that way. And Please put your second not question. Place. Sir, this is not a place to call every man as a rapist, which I never meant. But a man who raped his I wife to take other is questions a rapist, also, Vinayji. no doubt. I have to take other questions also. No, no. My question is Please that... be brief. No, no. In the, in, the, in, the, in the answer, the Honorable Minister, who is a very vibrant minister, she told that they are now waiting the governments of the states to do it. My answer is that, maintained by the respective state governments, the data regarding the violence. Can the minister take initiative to gather those data and have a comprehensive idea at the national level and give it to the parliament at the earliest opportunity? Thank you. Law and order as a state issue is constitutionally settled. The fact that the Honourable Member suggests to me that I engage with state governments and seek records from them is a suggestion which I hear today. But can I make a recommendation on behalf of state governments today in this House? I cannot, sir. I am a representative of the Government of India. Thank you. Uh, M. Mohammed Abdullah. Thank you, sir. Uh, we are talking about the marital rape and domestic violence. A girl says no means no, whether she is a wife or whoever it may be. No means no. But many women are not aware that the marital violence is also a crime. So they keep quiet, they accept because they are unaware. To create a... Will the government conduct any special awareness program in the school and college level? Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you. Sir, so under programs of Beti Bachao, Beti Padhao, we have ensured that there is capital support given to every district officer, every state government, to ensure that women, and particularly young girls, are made aware of their constitutional rights and responsibilities. I am sure that the Honorable Member's suggestion is well heard not only in this House, but also by state governments. I would also like to bring to the Honorable Member's attention, sir, that through my endeavours, I have appealed to every Member of Parliament that in the Disha meeting that you undertake under your leadership in your district, you can bring up issues with regards to provision of more and more advocacy of women's rights under your leadership. Thank you.